time for CCTV America Insight, where we take you beyond the headlines to bring you unique and compelling stories from across the globe. Tonight, we're focusing on education. Big questions are being asked in Peru about how it's educating its children. The country ranked last out of more than 60 nations in the latest PISA test, a global student evaluation program run by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. CCTV's Dan Collins reports from the Peruvian capital of Lima on what lessons are being learned. The OECD's global assessment of 15-year-olds was a wake-up call for the Peruvian government. PISA stands for Program for International Student Assessment. Of the 64 nations that took part in the tests between 2003 and 2012, Peru ranked last in all three subjects measured, math, science and reading. At a time when Peru's middle class has more than doubled in size, education is a higher priority than ever. With such low scores in reading, writing and arithmetic, what opportunities will these children have when they walk through these school gates for the last time? The prognosis doesn't look promising. After a decade-long economic boom, Peru's dismal classroom performance hasn't budged. In 2011, the country spent just 2.6% of its GDP on education, the lowest in Latin America. Teachers say they feel undervalued and underpaid. The authorities have to bring our wages up to a decent level. The teachers will be motivated. Right now they feel mistreated and unstimulated. They feel their profession is relegated to the lowest level while they're under pressure to get better qualified. It just doesn't make sense. Asian countries, including some Chinese cities, tops the tables in the OECD's worldwide test involving more than half a million teenagers. These results remind us, once again, that growth without education will not give us development. In other words, as a country, we can't have these notable growth rates and have these results in education. If we want to be a developed nation, it has to be a combination of growth and education. Otherwise, the growth will be unsustainable. Human capital is key to any nation's competitiveness in the global economy. Education experts say for Peru, Finishing dead last in OECD's PISA tests show that it isn't just the Peruvian students who must try harder. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.